Ralph Nader was on the show not long ago, and he talked about how important it is for activists to run for Congress, but it isn't easy. We followed Chase Ironeyes, who is an attorney and an activist in the Native American movement. He represents the Standing Rock Sioux Nation, and he's running for Congress in North Dakota. Take a look. company is not backing down and they've achieved a lawfully permitted right-of-way. They're going to build this pipeline. They've got the, the power of the state. Indians don't do very well at that brand of capitalism. They've always been resistant to it. When I decided to seek the nomination to run for United States Congress, I was coming up to the NPL convention in Bismarck, North Dakota, and I ran into about a hundred horse riders and runners and a caravan of about a hundred cars that were blocking the entire highway. And they were going to establish the first resistance camp by the Cannonball River to protest this pipeline. It's a huge moment. It's a historical moment. It's, it's a collection of human rights, environmental rights, racial relations, uh, economic relations. It's a cry out for a new economy, a, a new reality. We've lived side by side since the reservation era started, but our worlds don't necessarily co-mingle a lot. We can see now that this living in separate worlds, there's a fear, a misunderstanding, and an apprehension about what it means for 3,000 natives to gather in protest of a pipeline. I mentioned it to the governor to try to reach an honest and peaceable solution. He said he'd be willing to do that, but since that discussion, all they've done is call for more federal dollars to up the security and replenish the money that was spent. It's created a situation where we have to do our best not to fall into those lines of division that are being drawn in a way that positions lawful, tax-paying National Guardsmen against a group of unlawful protesters. If you read some of the comments coming out in the mainstream North Dakota media, you can see that narrative developing because they're pushing it so hard. Because they've declared a state of emergency, because they've called out the National Guard and activated them, because there are military-style roadblocks, it creates an atmosphere of apprehension. We need to really work hard to make sure that bridges are built after this thing is done because we are all North Dakota, we are all Americans, but right now I don't think tribal nations' perspectives are being respected at all. It's been a test, it's been a blessing and a curse, but anybody who wants to be a leader should not shy away from any of the real issues that confront you know, our leadership, our constituency, and our society. Politicians are not leaders. Politicians answer to their donors, whereas leaders answer either to their own spirit or to the people that they want to represent.